Zorin OS, is it truly Mac OS like? Are you tired of Windows but can't afford a Mac? What if there's an OS that promises a premium Mac OS like feel for free? Today we're putting Zorin OS under the microscope the visuals, the workflow, the technical reality, and whether it actually delivers the Mac experience people want. Quick overview. Zorin OS is a polished, Ubuntu-based distribution aimed at newcomers and people switching from other OSs. It ships with a handy Zorin Appearance tool that provides several desktop layouts, including a Mac OS-style layout, and offers easy access to themes, fonts, and dock placement. First impressions, the visual surface. Out of the box, Zorin looks clean and modern. The Mac-like impression comes from a top bar plus a centered bottom dock layout, rounded window styling when you enable it, and the right wallpaper slash font and icon pack. Important caveat. Most of the authentic Mac OS look on Zorin is the result of theming. Third-party GTK themes, Mac-style icon packs, San Francisco-style fonts, and GNOME extensions, blur my shell, dash to dock, etc. That means the likeness is skin deep. It's visual mimicry rather than Apple's integrated design language. Workflow and UX. How close does it feel like Mac OS? Window management and expose. Zorin's GNOME base supports activities overview and can approximate Mac OS mission control with extensions, but it's not identical. Hot corners, window previews, and tiling behave differently and are less tightly integrated than Mac OS's implementation. Finder versus Files. The Files app, Nautilus, is functional and familiar to new users, but it lacks some Finder niceties. Native file tagging, deep spotlight parity, and better integration with iCloud. App Ecosystem. Mac OS apps and the Mac App Store are proprietary and don't run natively on Linux. On Zorin, you'll rely on Linux alternatives, flat packs, app images, or Windows apps via compatibility layers, which works for many users, but isn't the frictionless app experience that Apple provides. The under the hood differences. System base. Zorin OS is built on Ubuntu LTS. Recent Zorin 17.x releases are based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So under the hood, it's Linux, not Darwin. That means different kernel behavior, driver model, and update packaging systems. Terminal and power user tools. The CLI is classic Linux, bash slash CSH apt systemd. Very powerful but different from macOS's BSD slash Darwin lineage and the macOS developer ecosystem, Xcode Apple toolchains. Power users will notice the difference quickly. Hardware compatibility. macOS is tightly coupled to Apple hardware. Zorin aims for broad PC compatibility, but plug and play behavior depends on drivers and vendor support. Some hardware features, Apple Silicon, Touch Bar, Deep iGPU, Apple-specific accelerations, are simply not available. The magic features, any macOS continuity replacements? Zorin Connect, a Zorin-branded implementation of KDE Connect, provides phone-to-desktop integration, file sharing, notifications, clipboard sync, remote input, and is a solid alternative for many continuity tasks. It's impressive, but not the same as Apple's tightly integrated continuity universal clipboard handoff ecosystem. Performance, stability, and software management. Performance. On similar hardware, Zorin can feel snappy, but performance varies with desktop effects, extensions, and the underlying hardware. Some reviewers praise Zorin's user friendliness. Others point out performance and package management rough edges in certain releases, so expect trade-offs versus the highly optimized Mac OS on Apple hardware. Updates and safety. Zorin uses Ubuntu's LTS base for long-term support. Security updates are regular, but because it's Linux, the update model and app vetting differ from Apple's curated app store. Where Zorin shines and where it falls short. Where it excels. Fast path for Windows users to get a polished desktop without learning arcane tooling. Highly customizable. You can replicate macOS visuals convincingly if you want. Strong community resources, themes, and guides to craft a Mac-like layout. Where it falls short. 
The macOS magic is more than skin. Hardware software integration, native apps, continuity, and polished developer tools are proprietary to Apple and hard to mimic. Zorin can approximate the look and some workflows, but it doesn't replicate the full macOS experience end-to-end. -end. Final verdict. Is Zorin truly macOS-like? Short answer, no, but kind of. Zorin can deliver a convincing macOS look and replicate several everyday macOS workflows, especially with the right themes and GNOME extensions. But it's still Linux at heart. Different kernel, different app ecosystem, different hardware compatibility, and different integration. If you want the feel of macOS without the cost of Apple hardware, Zorin is one of the best bets. But if you need the full Apple ecosystem and seamless hardware integration, nothing on Linux fully replaces macOS. Who should choose Zorin? Choose Zorin if you're switching from Windows and want a friendly Mac-like interface, you value customization, or you need a budget-friendly, privacy-focused desktop. Skip Zorin if you rely on Mac-only apps, deep Apple hardware features, or require absolute parity with macOS continuity and developer tools. If you liked this deep dive, hit like and subscribe. I'll link an install guide and my favorite Mac style theme pack in the description. If you want, in the next video, I'll show a step-by-step -step run through, turning a fresh Zorin install into a macOS-like workspace. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.